let's paint with knives. So just grab paint, dip it in a line, and then you take a tool and you just drag it. And it should be satisfying. If it's not, a, if it's not satisfying, we're not doing it right. So what colors do you want to use? This is already gonna look like Trix yogurt. Just let me do my thing. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna do silver, azul neon, rosado neon. Wait, am I reading the, oh, I'm reading the Spanish. <laughs> That's the actual name. I'm just reading the Spanish, okay? Neon blue, neon pink, and metallic white. Great. All right. So I'm. I don't know how much to use. Sorry, I'm a middle tube squeezer. What? Everyone hates middle tube squeezers with toothpaste. I know. I share toothpaste with you every day. All right. I'm gonna start mine. Do it. Oh my gosh. I think this pink is gonna be overpowering. Okay. Yeah. Now what knife do I want to use? This one looks interesting. But Okay. I'm gonna like break this. Oh That's cool. Yeah, it looks yours. like some modern art. Anna. That looks good. Okay. I think you need to know when to stop, and I think yeah. I'm at this point. Or I should just let it let it be what it is. Holy cow, look at that! You're super cool. Okay. I'm gonna try your earth toned one now, too. I think I'll so, use a little bit. Since black. it's space, you gotta use a lot more black. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks cool. I don't hate it yet. What knife do I want to use? I want to use this little knife. I don't think I use enough paint. Mine reminds me of like, I don't know, it looks very like African. That's actually really good. It's cool, but you added like a little bit too much black. But space is black. What that's are you talking true. about? That's that's a per I think that's a perfect balance. Mm -hmm. I like this one a lot. Wait till it dries, you'll see what I mean. Okay. What you can also do, watch this. If you see an area you don't like, Busy. Watch this, watch this. If you scrape it, you yeah. expose new colors underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, such an artist. That's pretty good. Look at that one. Mmm. That's very wildernessy. I'm gonna do do something a little different here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try doing squares. Mm -hmm. I should do like the ugliest colors. Let's do what happens. every color. Do every color every we color? have. Okay. Yep. But it still needs to look good. You can't just try to make it ugly. That's easy. Well, I'm not trying. Making to ugly art is easy. Making gorgeous art. That's for. That's for professionals. Oh, that was opposite. No, that wouldn't make any sense. 
I don't know how I feel about this one yet. It looks like a spoiled lasagna. <laughs> no, I kind of like it. White isn't a color. Actually. Actually, white is every white color. White is every color and for light. Mm -hmm. Not for pigment. For pigment, black is every color. Yeah. You ever did the uh, science experiment where you take a Sharpie on a uh, coffee filter, you color it in, and then you put it in water, and then all the colors in the Sharpie diffuse in Roy G. Biv. It's really cool. I used to do that experiment all the time as a kid, just in my own home, so that was fun. I used to um, fill up, <laughs> I used to fill up an empty Tic Tac container with water and pretend that I was doing experiments. What was the Tic Tac container? supposed to be. I don't know. Wait, so you just had a Tic Tac container full of water? How would it help you with the experiments? I don't know. <laughs> Did you like, be like, this is now a Tic Tac container full of water? Was it your... I was just pretending. What was, pretending what though? That I was doing science. These are probably gonna mix to make new colors. Yeah, or just make brown. I'm guessing this is gonna be a pretty brown color when you're done with it. Did you know if you take every container of Play-Doh they've ever sold and stacked it on each other, you could get to the moon and back three times? No. I'm just gonna scrape. I'm just gonna scrape try it. Here, get, scrape get a clean it. knife. It looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse you. It's bugging me. Yeah, it's bugging me. I knew you wouldn't go over that spot again. I'm... I'm... Make sure you get, get this line right here. It's... It's a little dark. I think that one should be called Lost. It's my creation. I get to name it. Lost in Chuck E. <laughs> no, shush. Lost in Chuck E. Cheese. Stop. 80s exercise leotard. Oh, that's a good one. Would you do this again? Like this one. Yeah, it was fun. Did you learn I anything? Mean, it requires no talent, so. That's what I learned. Perfect. You don't have to be good at art to do it, so I'm gonna do it again. You can teach can me how to- the, the new Bob Rosses. Teach me how to hopscotch. I've never learned. Hopscotch? Mm -hmm. You just jump on one the, the, leg uh, and then jump on next. the other leg. Yeah, but there's a rock. I don't know what the rock's for. The rock? Mm -hmm. I've never done hopscotch. You've never- have you heard of people no. using hopscotch with rocks? Do you throw it at each other? <laughs> no, you throw it- you throw it on the squares. <laughs> you throw the rock and they have to finish before they get you it. Throw, you like throw it on the squares. I don't know. Huh. Okay. All right, I'm cutting it. <laughs> Thanks for watching us paint. Mine's the best.